what's going on YouTube Fleabag FPV so I got the Femi X8 mini I got my tablet everything's connected I did heat shrink this connector um, I'm gonna be testing it out I'm over here at the school um, I've made a video over here before so I'm just out here I'm just gonna test this Femi out with the iPad and it's hooked up so stay tuned for the video um, this is just a test flight okay so I have everything connected um, I am going to start a screen recording three two one now we should be screen recording this is the iPad mini 5 um, it's showing 12 satellites in and out I am filming in 1080p at 60 frames now this is just going to be a test flight it does feel good in the hands it doesn't feel too heavy or anything like that so let's just uh, take to the air alright so we are screen recording so it does go up 13 feet takeoffs complete it is sitting pretty nice so far it's nice hover um, and the gimbal down now I did fly here the other day like I said um, I made a video on that uh, just fly it around the school but this one's gonna be different this is just gonna be testing out uh, the iPad so I'm going to start the recording okay now I'm recording so I'm gonna go up and it does look good on the screen it does look a little pixelated I am running the latest firmware on this now I'm at 13 satellites You might recognize that machine out there in the school. Gimbal down. I'm going to go a little higher. Then I'm going to go out a little bit. We're just going to go straight out. Uh, yard around here quick. So far it doesn't seem so bad. Let's go out here, go straight out. Now I have 17 satellites. It did hiccup there. 18 miles an hour. Looks like there's a field here. I've never flown out this way. Now this is new. You see a road here. I'm not going to go too far with this. That's a thousand feet. I'm going to stop it there. Give it a quick yaw around. It's still recording. It does look like it's somebody's farm. Go up. That horizon looks pretty good. Looks nice and level. I don't see any tilt. <sighs> There's bugs all over me here. Like I said, I'm filming in 1080p. I don't think I am going to film this whole video. This is just a test showing the, the uh, iPad. Let's go out this way back to the school. Give it a full. Now I'm going 16. I am not in sports mode. I'm just in regular mode, normal mode. We'll go out this way. And so far, no connection loss. Um, pointing towards the craft. You can see it there in the bottom left.
I'm gonna go a little higher. I'm gonna take this up 200. I'll gimbal down. I'm gonna go up 200 on this one. There I am. I'm two 212. Now over there in the distance here, this way, is where I came into the bird. Almost hit the bird. You can see me there. I'm pointing into the sun. I do not have any um, ND filters for these guys. Spin it back towards the, the craft. The trees are starting to turn, all the leaves. Not, it's not too crazy, but um, you can see it looks like a ride and tilt there. But other than that, not too bad. This is where I just was here. The quick you are. Uh, this is a great spot, another great spot. I like to fly, very quiet. Not too many people around. When you yaw it does glitch a little, but not not too bad. Batteries at eighty percent. Just doing a quick pan around. Let's get back to that school. Here we go, we got the uh tennis courts there. So let's fly over there near the tennis court courts and uh straight ahead is the uh the school library so we're going forward there there's the school library if you look straight in the distance there uh you see that water in that field um and that's where those fairgrounds are that's where i like to fly a lot over there um, you can see the water there, very nice spot, and gimbal back down, there's a car coming there, so we won't go that way, he's towards the school, back up, get that shot there, I'm recording, it's uh, five minutes, five forty nine. There's a school there, it's a nice shot. I like that shot. Beautiful. The sideways here. I'm starting to get better with the sticks. Uh, trying to go smooth here. Try to learn manually instead of using these smart, smart features. Gimbal up. Let's head back towards this. We'll go this way here. I don't know what they're going to build in here. So once they're done, we will find out um, what's going on. So I'm going to go over here. We're going to check out this spot. 16 miles an hour. It is 5.20 in the evening. The sun is going to start setting shortly. We we'll have to turn the clocks back. It's going to be getting darker out. So that's, that's never fun. I can hear it there in the distance. Fly over this. We'll fly over here. Avoid that car, which I'm far away from. 
library there. Still at 200 feet. I'm gonna yaw this around. You can tell by the flagpole down there, there's, there's not much wind. Like I said, I will throw a UAV forecast. Um, eight minutes. I'm gonna run this to the 10 minute mark. And then I'm gonna bring it in. I'm gonna see if I can get a shot of the school. There is a plane overhead, so I am going to stop here. Um, I am only 200 feet, so I am well uh, below him, and I am far from him. Uh, it says compass interference. Please fly carefully. Um, so I see that. Don't know what that's about. Maybe because I'm over the school. Let's go out more. Compass interference. Now I am not gonna cross that street. I'm just gonna yaw it around. Gimbal down. Get a different angle. People on bikes. Go yaw it up. Got some people there. We'll go right back. I'm gonna face it towards me and then bring it in. But so far, it's definitely a plus uh, flying on a bigger screen um, with this. The it's the iPad Mini 5, so I think I'll be flying it this way uh, from now on. And there I am over there in the distance. Let's head back towards me. I'm over here. You can see me here. You start coming down. So I'm just keeping this video kind of short, just so, um, just to show that it does work with it. Here I am there. Bring this down. The battery's at 56%. Welcome back. Gimbal up. You can see me here, I'm recording. Welcome back, everybody. Um, it does still say compass interference. It seems to be flying good, so I don't know what's up with that. Um, so I'm going to stop recording here. Stop recording. And I am going to start it again, just for the fun of it. Let's see here. I wasn't recording. I wasn't recording. I wanted to do a droney. I wasn't recording. So let's land this and then um we'll call it a good flight and a good test. I'm very happy with it. I'm starting to like this drone a lot more. So gimbal up. Make sure you make that gimbal, um, turn that gimbal up because when you land, it won't, um, uh, it will not go up. So just be aware of that. 
and we're gonna go like this. They're gonna hit this. We're gonna land this. There's a car coming. And he's gonna run me over. So, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned <laughs> for the next video. Later. Okay, so that was the flight with the Femi X8 Mini along with the tablet, um, the iPad Mini 5. Overall, I think it was great. Uh, it was nice flying it on this larger screen. Um, there wasn't any disconnects. I didn't go out too far. Uh, it only went out like a thousand feet. So I didn't do any uh, extended range or anything like that. But the overall flight was good. Um, let me know what you think about the video. Please comment, um, like, subscribe, um, hit that notification bell. Uh, this is this is a great hobby. Um, I hope more people get into it. Um, it's just a great community. So, with that being said, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next video with the Femi X8 Mini. Later.